Good morning, everyone. This is Steve Juno. I am the co-founder here at Meniere's and Vertigo Without Borders. Yay, I said it right. <laughs> I am the co-founder here, and I'm a co-founder of the Christian site as well, our Christian group. And if you're interested in, um, in your Christian and you're interested in that support group, please feel free to, uh, to join it. Um, but that's not what this video is for. So I don't want people thinking it's a religious video. It's not. Um, so as a lot of you know, and I've posted uh, here before, I've been in a flare for uh, at least three weeks. And, um, you know, I know a lot of us have. I know some of the people that I've talked to, um, I won't mention names because that's not right, um, I've talked to have been in flares as well. So let's go back to yesterday when I learned something new. What I learned was normally when I'm eating lunch, okay, uh, whether it's uh, roast beef or tuna fish or chicken, um, I usually read the newspaper. I usually read the sports sections of the newspapers because I'm an old-fashioned guy. I like newspaper. I know, technology today, I can get information in five seconds. Well, I like to read a story. But I decided yesterday that um, I wasn't going to do that. I was going to pull out my journal. Now, I know it's this record on it, but this is my journal. This is where I write all my attacks on, and I have attacks. And this was the best tip I ever got um, from Gina Kalitz, our founder, who's also a really close friend of mine, too. Um, the best tip she ever gave me. So I decided I'm going to do some research, and I'm going to look up when these attacks happen. And if they're seasonal. So these records go back about three years, since 2017. So I noticed, going back, between the middle of September, middle of October, I'm in a flare. The, the weather is changing so much that I'm in a flare. Um, the pressures I can't take. You know, right now my, my ears are roaring. They're not ringing. They're roaring. <laughs> Uh, but I feel pretty good today, so which is a good thing. I feel really good today. Um, not that I'm going to run out and do the marathon, but I'm going to take it easy. But still, I'm, in a, I'm feeling good today. So I noticed that was a, during this era, uh, during this time of year, I'm having a flare. Then I noticed for the last three years, from, January, from the middle of January to the middle of February, and sometimes beyond. One year it was beyond, it was into March, because um, up in the Northeast, 2018, we got nailed with snow. Every, every, um, every week from the middle of February to the middle of March, we were getting blizzard after blizzard after blizzard. And it was really, really cold. So you notice between that period of time, I was in flare. Then, the middle of the end of May, Memorial Day to probably the first week of June, second week of June, I would be in another flare. I would still have my good days, and in between those times, yeah, I would still have attacks if I, if I had too much salt, or I drank too much coffee, or maybe I chewed too much nicotine gum. I, yeah, I don't smoke cigarettes, but I chew nicotine gum, and I really am trying to, to stop chewing that gum. And some days I know I chew too much of it. And, and I do get attacks, but I'm talking, about, I'm talking about the flares where, you know, every day is a struggle. Every day is an attack. Every day it's something different. Um, so I noticed then, and then it starts all over again in September. So I noticed with me, and I'm sure with a lot of, a, a lot of other people, that from reading, going back and looking at this, my record book, my journal, that... I'm going into attacks at certain times of the year. So not only is it just that um, I'm having too much salt or too much caffeine and, and my ears are filling up with fluid because of that, it's also the change in the barometric changes, the temperature changes, which is causing it as well. And that's one of the reasons why you should keep a journal. Now, I, kept, I started this journal um, basically so I can show the doctors when I'm having an attack. Because, you know, a lot of times you go to the doctor and you're like, well, I had an attack two days ago. 
think two weeks ago I had an attack, and then maybe a month ago. Well, that's not really very good information for that doctor to decide what to do to help you. Um, yeah, sure, they could do tests, they could do this, they can do that, but it doesn't give them a line to, 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 to how to help you. You know, because I write down, you know, had vertigo, lasted two, three hours, four hours all day, I was nauseous, I had a bad headache too. I mean, I write down the whole thing, you know, usually the next day. So, it helps the doctors. It helped me with my SSDI hearing because the judge looked at it and went, this kid cannot work a part-time job, never mind a full-time job. Um, so that was one of the things they were impressed about. The judge was impressed about it. helped me. And the judge actually said, I wish more people kept a journal like you do. It would make my job so much easier. Um, and now I discovered a pattern on when these attacks are coming. So it's a good idea to keep one for your doctors, um, but you can also develop patterns. And like I said, I found a pattern yesterday. So the best tip I ever got was from Gina Kalitz. Like I said, was keeping this journal. It has helped me tremendously with doctors, SSDI, and now discovering patterns, barometric changes in the air. Not that we wouldn't have known anyways, but now I've got proof of it. To be a look at, you got the pattern, and I can say to the doctor, well, it's seasonal, look at this, you know? So, I wanted to share that with you, uh, while well, it was on my mind, and um, that's it. I'm probably going to do another video, either today, or tomorrow, or maybe tonight, um, on another hear through product like I did with the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus <clears throat> the Jabra 65 T's um, those type of hearing ear, wireless earbuds that they're not hearing aids but if your hearing isn't bad enough that you need a hearing aid but it's bad enough that you could use some help this is what's going these are going to help you um, if it's bad enough um, what was I going to say? Yeah, and if you like, you lose your hearing aid, you're waiting for your new ones to come in, something like this for cheap money will get you by for, for, for that time. So I will do a product on that. I'll do a video on that product. No, it will not be an advertisement. No, I do not sell them. And no, I do not have an Amazon store or a T-shirt store or any other store. I don't have a business. So I'm not making money. I spent my own money on this. Nobody bought them for me. The company didn't send them to me. And I'm going to go through that in a video on how that works. Because if you go on YouTube, believe me, you'll figure out why these guys say every product they, 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 they get is the best product ever. So on that note, I will talk to you later. I hope you all have a great day, a spin-free day, and a spin-free weekend. Take care.